We've been warned the future of robots is coming, but it might already be here. From security robots patrolling sidewalks to coffee delivery robots in Plaza <laughs> Midwood, we have already seen AI in our daily lives. And this year we've learned more tech is coming. So that includes futuristic transportation like self-driving buses in Davidson and drone drop-off in Kannapolis. WCNC Charlotte's Lexi Wilson taking a look at what this means for our area. I'm in Plaza Midwood where you might have seen this little robot roaming around. It delivers coffee and pastries. Definitely a fun piece of technology, but it's actually part of a much bigger picture. In Charlotte's first streetcar suburb. It's cool. You know, it seems pretty, pretty efficient. A new kind of resident. Pink robots that roll around kind of like an RV uh, car and they're delivering uh, things like coffee and pastries from undercurrent. The Canadian company Tiny Mile one month into their pilot project with undercurrent coffee. Right now, five robots guided by a camera deliver food and drinks within a one mile radius of the coffee shop. So far, it's been successful. There's hope they'll expand. I think it's just an example of Charlotte wanting to try new things and being open to being a testing ground for new technologies. Technology like Nightscope Security Robot, the company recently launching here in the Queen City. It's a unique combination of four really complicated technologies into one. Um, so it's autonomous self-driving technology like an autonomous car, uh, robotics, artificial intelligence, and electric vehicles. It can charge itself, detect people, and give officers a live look through its 360-degree camera. It's a robot revolution enhancing traditional security. They're, they're here to help. Still, there's concern about robots going too far. I think there's glitches, so that's scary. Some jobs are going to go away and other new jobs are going to be created. It's just a shift in the types of job opportunities that people will have in our community. Despite that, City Council member Larkin Eggleston says the new tech is just the start as the city leaps forward. We want to be a place that people think of first when they think of where they can build a high tech company, where they can come and create jobs, where they can come and invest in our community. And I think we've created that sort of welcoming environment for, for businesses. Reporting in Plaza Midwood for WCNC Charlotte, I'm Lexi Wilson.